South African citizens caught up in the chaos of COVID-19 abroad have in the main returned home. Last month saw South Africans repatriated from Brazil with the assistance of the Department of International Relations and Cooperation. But missing among those were about 122 South African citizens who had been incarcerated in Brazil for various drug-related crimes. What I want to know is, the minute you cross border, do you lose your constitutional right? I need to understand that. I'm doing this video on top. Desperate in Brazil's limited shelters, with few, if any, supplies, these citizens have either served their sentences or are on parole, too destitute to return home. There's this coronavirus thing we can go. Where I'm staying, I have to rent. I don't know where to stay. But all what I promise, I can't my need to help. I'm trying to come to my land and my needs. For a why were these South Africans left behind when 65 others were repatriated last month? In this three-part investigation, we bring you the intimate stories of some of the ex-prisoners and their families who accuse the state of abandoning them amid the deadly COVID-19 virus. As COVID-19 victims' bodies pile up in Brazil, President Bolsonaro and his government are at loggerheads over his lackluster response to the virus. Now, at number two in COVID infections globally, what then becomes the fate of foreigners in Brazil, where locals also clamor for their own survival? There's no place like home, but there is that feeling like I don't feel like I'm going to be happy anymore in South Africa. <laughs> the way they judge me. Being a police officer doesn't mean that you have to prophesy or to understand their languages. People, they can put you in jail, especially if you don't understand what they're talking about. It's why I end up in jail. Telling people that I was not supposed to. Being with people that I thought they are my friends. 35-year-old Angel Malulege says, in 2017, after saving for over a year, she was excited to finally be going to Brazil with a close friend to buy her extensions. She was arrested at the Sao Paulo airport for possession of drugs. A former police officer, Angel insists on her innocence. After a year in a Brazilian prison, she was released on parole. I never had family, but because God was with me. I had one family that they sent the, the documents. They bought them tickets, be me tickets to go to their families for five days. Her arrest made national news and she was widely criticized on social media as a cop gone rogue. There's nothing painful than being in prison for the things that it didn't do. There is nothing painful that you end up being judged for the things that you were not aware of. But I thank God for giving me their sound. I was depressed in prison. I end up in a hospital thinking not easy. But for all the pain that I've been through, God, you know, uh, brought me hope. Even though she claims to be innocent, Special Assignment continues its investigation on her story and circumstances behind her arrest. She says outside prison, she had to hustle for work to survive. My life is not easy. It's just that God is with me. Wherever I go, after prison, when I need a job, I just got a job like, just like that. Like my first job, I work as an administrative I just wake up, it was a month. They find out that I was in prison. My contract was terminated. 
but it's fine i didn't give up i <laughs> continued seeking and i find a job again because of god i was waiting for this corona thing and i thank god because i told the, the person that you know what i've been in prison but he never saw problem with it. He said he loved the way I'm dedicated to waking, teaching. You understand? That is the only thing that helped me to survive. Trying to survive in a foreign country where it's difficult to make a living is close to impossible under lockdown. The pastor, the pastor who used to come to prison to preach for us, is the one who signed me out one day to release me because I don't have a place. The judge needs an address, but he signed me out to stay by his house. I stayed until I left to come to some polo to make documents. It's where I left this place. I came to the shelter, started making documents, started trying to work. At the shelter, they're chasing us after six months. You know, life was very hard. Until I managed to stay with my Brazilian girl, where I'm staying now, we're sharing, I managed to work. But now, I can't even work. I'm th I'm thinking about the rent now. That's what I told you. I don't know where to stay. I think I I am praying that the master and the landlord has to understand and give me a chance because there's nothing that I can do. Her family in Guyana is concerned about her well-being. They say the South African state should repatriate its nationals in the wake of COVID-19. She doesn't have food. We we facing a pandemic. Everyone globally is affected. She's on parole. She's no longer staying in the government shelter that they provide. What I want to know is, the minute you cross border, do you lose your constitutional right? I need to understand that. And if so, how is it possible? Because if I'm in that country, I'm still called a South African. If my citizenship follows me, why can't my constitutional right or whatever rights in my country does not follow me? It's not reasonable that I'm spending more on insurance than I am on petrol. It doesn't really make sense to me. I spoke to Outsurance, they came back, said, hey, you can save over 700 rand a month on your premiums for your car. There's no reason not to go for it. You shouldn't take the first offer you get, you know. You should just sit a while, shop around. Just because you're 18, you have a car and you can now drive. Don't get overexcited. SMS save to 44211 or call 0800 60,000 and change that ID. Price of non-compliance with regulations may be too high to pay. Think safety, health, environment, and fair measurement. Think NRCS. Hello, Zanzi. I know you love watching your soapies and sports on SABC. I love watching network on SABC too. But I do the right thing. I pay my TV license. It's only 265 rands a year. That's 22 rands a month. Do the right thing. Pay yours. Maybe to paralyze to shoot in Pelaco is so shit. M Venguba, Sangli Meling, Critics Cut School, Gisekaya, Lalelu Hosi, Gilalela, Abantua Fanano, Le Kofi, Bawazil, Kubega, and Pilo. Icamale Project here to Papa, my community project. See a subtitle Billis. Sends a show by a cell. The vacuum club in a nearby project registered Ganjan. Vitramina, Eshenga, and Patrick Mavasa, Nemidundi, Eskolinisha, Nyanyani, Nisunguku Tumbulisha, Soku, and Nyanyan Kubana, Mini Cricket. Yaskota Fikele and Elekatin Dau Telekole, Lakma Kule, Snenan and Bigger Cricket, Tangopon, Skolfa Gales of Tanga Mini Cricket, Suzuki Eka Six, Swa eighteen, Ivitora, SBC Sport. Yabonga calling up causing, who may be having a cover and flapper having Sasha Likaya, or a manager singing Linda Lutz in Game Seventeen. Umeshukum Kunuba, a Matuaza and a Sakuli long show. So Umshobin is not taking a cool. If now Kukamaga is a piece of ten Koska Kusal Bulela El Tuba.
We are at the Makeba family in Tembisa. Their daughter Sonto was also arrested in Brazil, in Sao Paulo. Sonto's family says they cannot understand why she resorted to crime, rather than asking them for their help. February Breakfast Ushone, I know because every time they are complaining was on to. Sonto describes how she lives day to day. She says, as South Africans, they take care of each other. Since she has been on parole, her unstable health 
and her two children keep her awake at night. I love you too. Please, please. Me a me a me a a a Coloma Jubilo, Uzo and the eighteen years, Una great. We in Yasgutan, a fissa would no Maya good grade twelve, Abesega corner, Nama graduation. I will bonum tana comanum sham man, I will call you school, Azanga be corner, Maga will call you school. Bam Tina, a cool lavantana like O President Dwight. Stella Slander lavantana like it, Babu is a bad thing, Babu ye giti. And Najabula, a cool mass and a tolu sizzle from Hulumelu to Najabula. Cool, much a bull. But Babu, as I get like none of us to pay us his own cases than Mutta to pay a lapo. Unam born. This is cutting as the Nagazan woman to the Nangus of Noman at Ujil. Uzo Tiki Mujil later on was caught up with yours as next to Kitala. I couldn't eat Kitaka here. Kitot lining at us at my jail. So like. <laughs> Did you know that as a valid TV license holder, you can now win your share of half a million rand in daily prizes? Yes, you only have to renew or pay your domestic TV license. Then dial star 120 star 45887 hash or visit tvlicgames.co.za and take a chance at our Wheel of Fortune Spin and Win or Scratch Pad. Enter to win! Award-winning giveaways such as airtime, shopping vouchers and household appliances. Dial star 120 star 45887 hash or visit tvlicgames.co.za to enter now. Terms and conditions apply. USSD, 20 cents per 20 seconds. 1 rand 50 per entry. T's and C's apply. TV licenses, making more content possible every day. Hashtag made possible by you. My fellow South Africans, non-essential establishments, including restaurants and bars, will have to close at 10 p.m. so that staff and patrons, that is customers, can go home before the enforcement of the curfew. South African ex-prisoners stuck in Brazil are desperate to come home. They say they fear falling victim to the tragic fate of Yolisa Mlalandle, who was ill when she left home, but got worse and died later on in Brazil. She was buried without her family, who couldn't afford the travel costs. Yolisa left a son behind, whose whereabouts are still unknown. passed on, I saw a post on Facebook um, and they had tagged her and because we're friends so it appeared on my timeline uh, friends from Brazil looking for her family and I quickly inboxed the lady and said I am her family so please remove the post and then we started chatting, she told me she was in hospital she sent me a video of her uh, in hospital, it was very bad and 
and we immediately I called a meeting with the family and said Usenizwa is really ill and judging by the video that I received I don't think she was gonna hold on for too long so what can we do to try to bring her back and of course the family did not have the means to bring her back and we just continue to pray for her to get better the family says they contacted the embassy and knocked on many doors to get assistance in finding their child to no avail going to have him um, home uh, yeah, it, it is enough it is, it is it is a double blow to lose your mother and to also be away from people who can nurture you with with love and people you can identify with um people that are your own flesh and blood and to just grow up with 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 with, with the family and 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 yeah just be part of a, of a family instead of just being all by himself uh, in, in, in a world uh, learned so far from home and with no one to, to really identify with now a shadow of her former self, 63-year-old Sylvia Kruger says she thought she was transporting medicine to Brazil. The endless pain from the arthritis and the lack of nutrition have caused her to lose weight. Maar ik moet zeggen, dit is baie moeilik hier buiten. Jy sit sonder geld, jy het nie een jinkome nie. Gelukkig, ek is in huis, waar ek elke dag koos kry. En waar ek kan bad. Maar die probleem nou is, is met die coronavirus, wat rondgaan. Ons is omtrent 100 mense in hierdie gebouw. Een vrou mense met kinders. En ons bly hier met die gevolg is van hulle werk, hulle gaan uit, kom in. En hier is reeds een dame wat besmet is met die coronavirus. En ek verlang omzettend na my kinder en na my sissie. Ek verlang so na my kleine goed. As iemand my net genadig kan wees, ek weet ek het verkeerd gehandel. Maar as ek geweet het, dit was drak, so ek nooit die na toe gekom het nie. Want ek het nie net prisulte mense nie. O, ek kyk nie, o, kyk ek my land in die oe. Ek het my land vraai. Want ek weet, ek het ook klein kinder wat so voorbeeld ouma moes gewees het, wat vir hulle moet sê, moet nie dit doen nie, julle moet so maak. Hoe kyk ek my kleinke goed in die oe, om vir hulle te sê, ouma is jammer, ek wil die mense vergewe, ek het geen vrouw teen oor enige iemand, wat my hierna toe laat kom het nie. Ek het die heren gevra om allemaal te vergewe, ek het hulle vergewe, Ek draag geen vrok nie, maar al wat ek vraag is, dat iemand my net kan help om terug te kom na my land en my mense, waar ek meer die sal op kan kry. Her daughter is equally distressed by her continued stay in Brazil. She told me she's staying in a... and in a place where all the immigrants go in a shelter there. She said, but it's not nice there because all what, uh, all they um, get to eat in the mornings, it's a piece of bread with black coffee. And in the afternoon they get um, winky soap and, or it's a salad. And she doesn't eat the soup, she just eat the salad. Mm. She told me she's living off water and salad. Mm. She's battling with her um, hip. hip and she, um, she had sugar before, so I don't know if the sugar is back because she's lost plenty of weight. Um, 
Yeah, the, the but if I can get her back here, yeah, I will take her to a good doctor. Please, Mr. Ramaphosa, I'm asking you nicely. And I ask for my mom's sake, can you please just get her back in South Africa? Because with the COVID, it's not good for her. And she can't see any doctors that side because they must wait to see doctors. So if you can please just bring her back this side, I will be very, very glad. And thanks, very thanks for that. These desperate South Africans are pleading to be returned home and saved from the risk of coronavirus in Brazil. Recognizing their constitutional rights for protection as citizens, the South African government announced the release of 19,000 prisoners to reduce the spread of COVID-19 amid overcrowding. In line with Section 821 of the Correctional Services Act, the President has authorized the consideration of parole for a selected low-risk qualifying sentence offenders who have or who have or will reach their minimum dissenting periods in the next five years by the parole boards. Approximately 19,000 inmates across the country will qualify for this consideration by the parole boards. Do these South Africans stuck abroad deserve the same protection? Next week, we hear from experts and the state on whether the government has an obligation to repatriate these citizens. Economics.